Good afternoon, I'm Chris Holmstrom and this is the rundown. A woman is recovering after being shot in the face by a stranger. Deputies say a man broke into her Palmdale home, shot her in the face, then kidnapped her 10 year old daughter. The man has been arrested. The girl is back safe. And prosecutors are hoping to file charges today against the woman accused of causing the fiery crash last week that killed six people. 37 year old Nicole Linton was released from the hospital yesterday and booked into jail. She's being held on a $9 million bail. And first day jitters for some kids throughout SoCal. It's the first day of school for several districts, including Chino Valley Unified and Saugus Union. Doctors are asking parents to make sure their kids have all their vaccines up to date. LAUSD students head back to class next week. Let's go to meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. Amber, it's going to be uh, a hot one. It's going to be nice to be back at school for the first day. However, it's going to be a hot one, so be prepared. Take a look. We're sandwiched between two systems right now. High pressure to the east, low pressure to the northwest. So not only are we looking at some of that monsoonal flow, pushing back in. It's going to start to feel a little bit more muggy over the course of the next few days. I would say ice beverage make it extra large today because we're talking 80s, 90s, triple digits. We do have a chance for these isolated thunderstorms and showers over the mountains and high deserts. So if you live in these areas, I would say hold off on washing your car at least for the next few days. We're looking at decreasing chances as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, but they pick back up again by the end of the week. All right, thanks, Amber. Remember, we're always on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch us anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Have a great afternoon, everyone.